What's up everybody, Andrew Maxwell from the Southern Outdoorsman here and we've gotten a lot of questions on our pack setups uh, so we're going to go over it today. I am right now running a uh, Kafaru pack. I've got a striker right here that I actually got right before deer season and I've got it on their just regular tactical frame uh, which I really like. Um, this is a really, really awesome frame. I kind of wish I'd got the lighter one just because uh, I feel like it'd be better for when it's hot but I mean when it's cold outside this thing is really great for packing weight and especially packing deer out. I mean, that's what it's for. I mean, as you can see, this is all like very soft material and it, it's a super rigid pack. Um, so it handles really heavy loads extremely well. Um, but you know, this isn't necessarily about the frame. It's more about the pack and everything. So like I said, I got the striker, um, a couple weeks ago. I've, I've used the woodsman before and I've also used the 22 mag and I really loved the 22 mag, but I just thought that this might fit my needs a little bit better. So far I've got a couple hunts out of this. Um, right now I'm just running the straight pack. I've got the uh, large pouch on it. This pouch right here I might run like a, I'll, I'll stick some aiders in there maybe. Um, and then also I'll, I'll stick a puffy vest in there. It actually, this this pocket doesn't look that big but you, you'd be surprised at what you can fit in here. Like I could easily fit this in there. Um, but really why I wanted this striker it's just the fact that it's so easy to get to the meat shelf. I mean, this is a cargo panel that goes over your frame right here, and then the bag just clips onto that cargo panel. So uh, you don't have to, you know, on other bags, you'd have to unhook your load lifters and actually pull the bag off the frame to put anything on the meat shelf. This one, you don't have to do that. Uh, so I'll just kind of show you my setup right here. This is how I pack in on a typical hunt. In the bag, I'll have you know my jackets, water, and stuff. I've got my kill kit in here, uh, just game bags, knives, knife sharpeners, so I can if I kill something, I can pack it out. When I get to the tree, I basically just unbuckle these buckles. There's there's six of them. So there's two up top, and then two on each side, and then uh, that's all it is. And then bam, you can take that off. So right here's where I got my setup. I've got a compression strap on the frame right here where I can press all my stuff. So when I get to the tree, I'm unbuckling that. I'm taking my platform off and I've actually got a little carabiner on my saddle. I clip this onto my saddle when I go up the tree. After that, I got my sticks. I don't have them super organized in here. Um, I was trying to keep them all you know, stacked nice and neat, but I found that with this setup, I can kind of just throw them all right there and I'm good to go. I'll take my first stick off, you know, put it on the tree and everything, um, and kind of go from there. Um, I don't hang the sticks off of me. I actually will usually put the first one on the tree and then grab the other three in my hand, uh, put the pack back on, and start up the tree just with three sticks in my hand, like, like so, um, and just climb up like that uh, with my lines and belt and everything, of course. Um, and it's these shikaras are small enough where I can do that. If you're using a bigger stick, that might not be an option but you know you can you can figure that out whatever works for you um a lot of these kafaru packs they're so customizable that you can get these compression straps and what i was actually doing with my 22 mag is uh you know i would i would actually put two sticks on this side two sticks on this side and just clip them on the bag like so um and my platform in the middle and so that way i could take off two at the base of the tree stick them on the tree and then climb up with my pack and when i get to the top of my second stick I can just reach around, unclip the other two buckles, get the other two sticks, and put them on. Uh, so that's that's super super easy, um, super streamlined, super fast. You know, you're not doing multiple trips. Um, like I said, you can be more organized than this than I am. But yeah, I mean, just packing it up, it's very easy. You know, get out of the tree, make a little bit of space right here, get your uh, compression strap, snap that in, tighten her down. And then you put everything back where it's supposed to go, and uh, it works extremely well. So far, I'm I'm really really happy with this setup, um, and I'm sure that for packing out deer, it'll be great too. It's just opening week, so I haven't had a chance to pack one out with the striker yet. But when I packed them out with the 22 mag, it did extremely well. So I have faith in this one. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is like a super super easy setup. So I really like it. But yeah, that's kind of my pack setup that we were getting a lot of questions about. And uh, uh, this is what I hang my pack up with in the tree. Works extremely well. So that's what it looks like on the back. Like I said, man, really enjoy this setup. Pretty awesome. So one more thing about this is 
the way that, I, you know, I just kind of threw everything in here, but normally I would not let a standoff be poking out like that. But uh, the, the glory of this pack, this is a 22 inch frame. These sticks are also about that same length. So pretty much all my stuff is flush with the top of the bag. Um, like I said, I could organize it more. I, I just kind of did it messy there. But, you know, when these sticks are sitting flush with the top of the pack, when you're walking, they're not grabbing anything. So it's like you're not even carrying. I mean, it's just like having a backpack on. It's almost like the sticks and the platform aren't even there, which is really what I'm going for. Um, when you're using like a Kafaru setup like this, I mean, they're made for packing weight. So I know that the saddle hunters, you know, everyone's trying to cut weight. Well, I don't necessarily feel like I have to cut weight anymore because this pack handles weight so well that, you know, taking on five extra pounds or something isn't that big of a deal. So my focus really switched to uh, more packability and, and things being compact. So I want everything to be like very low and not very far out. I want everything to be very tight together. I don't want anything poking out of the sides. You know, you know, back in the day carrying a climber where you got crap all the way up here, hanging on everything going through the woods. I mean, when you're going through thick stuff and you're bobbing and weaving through it, it really helps that everything's compact like this. So that's kind of the glory of these packs for me um, for a whitetail setup. But that's just kind of my explanation of why I like this stuff. Um, I really highly suggest the pack if you got the money for it. Um, I wanted one for a long time. I mean, they're pricey for sure. And I just went without one for a couple of years and saved up. You know, just use what I had, and when I finally made the purchase, I'm really glad I did. Um, I, I've had it for a year now, packed out four or five deer with it, and it's it's been fantastic. So, highly recommend. But uh, that's all I got. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out our podcast every Monday. We're interviewing guests from the South who constantly are killing nice bucks on public land. Guys who are a lot better at hunting than me and Jacob. So make sure you check it out and stay tuned for the next video.